Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use Orion login with SMS plugin with Nextmo. Well, Nextmo is very popular API, SMS gateway, and we're going to use that. Okay. So what does this plugin do? Well, this plugin would allow your users to log in without the username and email, which means that they can log in using their mobile number and the mobile number needs to be, of course, registered. Okay, they get the message on their mobile number and if they enter the correct mobile number and if that mobile number is registered in your database, then they will be able to log in. Well, that's pretty easy for them and it's simple uh, because it saves time as well and plus if they've forgotten password, uh, this is going to be really useful. Okay, great. So, um, what we're going to do is we'll go to the settings page which is going to be here, Orient Login Settings. Okay. And the first thing you need to select is which API you want to use. So as you can see, we offer you support for Twilio, Nextmo, ClickAtel, Message91, Ring, Capture, as well as ClickSend. So you can choose the one you like. If there's an API which is not here, but it's one of the popular ones and you would want us to include that, let us know. We will consider that. Okay. So we will select Nextmo. And the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and log into Nextmo.com. If you aren't registered already, you can register it here. If you are registered already, then you just need to log in and get the API keys. Okay. So if you click on get started, okay, you can see we have got the key. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it where it says I need the API key and I need the secret as well. So I'm just going to paste the secret. Now you need to use the sender ID as well. So they are using next mall just use that i'll paste it here okay the next thing it asks you for the meta key so what is meta key basically well in order for us to know whether the mobile number is registered or not we need the information as to where the mobile number is saved into wordpress database now generally most of the plugins themes uh, you know save the information in form some form of a meta key okay so we just need that meta key okay so i'll give you an example so let's say you go to the uh, php my admin and over here you click on user meta in your wordpress table wherever your wordpress table is you click on browse and then you go on to the next one okay and uh, just pick up any user who has a registered mobile number you can see in my case I have the mobile number saved under mobile underscore number. So that's all the information that you need because that's the one which is meta key. Okay. So I'm going to put that. Then it tells you, um, it asks you rather, that is the mobile number saved with the country code or not? You, so in our case, it isn't or there's no country code prefixed. So I'm just going to keep it as no. But if there was any, for example, if I go here, and if it was saved with the country code, let's say 91, then you will select yes. And if there was a plus sign before the country code as well, then you're going to select yes with plus sign. Okay, that's how simple it is. So let's just keep it to no because we don't have the country code in, oh, in here. Okay. Right. Perfect. Now, next thing is that there's just a couple more information we need for the country code, etc. So just go ahead and select the country you want to use it in. So I'll select India and just select the length of the mobile number. So for me, it's 10. This is for validation so that if user enters uh, incorrect length of mobile number, then we should tell him that you need to enter correct mobile number. Then this is pretty interesting, guys, which is apply adaptive style. So this basically would help you uh, because you don't have to hire a developer or if you're already a developer you don't have to write style uh, because generally you would see that if you're using some plugins or themes and it is adding some content to your website uh, the look and feel is a little different so what this plugin does is basically it goes ahead and adapts the style of your theme or over to that as well okay so i'm going to show that to you in a moment all right Now, 
There are two options available when it comes to the button that you're going to use. First is login with SMS button and second is login form selector. So what this basically means is that if you have a form and you already have a button that you would want us to use, uh, when the user clicks on that button, then he should get a pop-up where he can enter his mobile number for verification. Then you can go for the first option. But if you don't have a button already on your form, uh, then you can just put the login form selector over here which could be a unique class name or unique ID of that form and then it will automatically create that button for you on the form itself okay so I'm going to give you an example how does that work so I'll just go and log open up the login form so WordPress login and then this is my local WordPress install and login page so you can see this is my login form I already have a button here so all I'm going to do is just do an inspect element and even if you're not a developer don't worry okay because it's going to be pretty simple you just get the class name or the a unique ID just copy it and just paste it here okay and then uh, just save it and that's it that's all you have to do guys so let's get back to our form on the front end and what you see now is that if I click on login with SMS, voila, well, you get the pop-up that is being generated by the plugin. And if you notice, we were talking about adapting the style, right? So can you see that this uh, text over here is adapting the style of the theme? Um, it is adapting the button uh, look and feel of the theme itself, even the input as well. So that's pretty useful because this means it saves your time. You don't have to write in style. You don't have to hire anyone to go ahead and make changes for that. Okay. So it saves your time. So um, now what user can do is he can enter his mobile number. We validate if it exists in, in the, to the database. If it does and he gets the verification code, if he enters it correctly, he will be locked in. That's the process going to be. Okay. So let's first check if it handles errors or not so let's have a look first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on send a verification code and you can see that i haven't entered anything so you get an error if i just enter less number of digits i get an error too because onto the dashboard we mentioned that it has to be a 10 digit mobile number that's exactly the reason why we asked for that information okay and you can also see that it's already added the plus nine one before as a prefix which you entered in the database so uh, onto the dashboard sorry okay so that's pretty simple and i'm going to enter incorrect mobile number and see if it allows me to log in you can see it tried to send it but user doesn't exist of course it won't send the sms until checking that information the first thing it does is it checks whether the user exists or not since it doesn't we don't send the user uh, anything okay we just tell him that user doesn't exist so he needs to enter the correct mobile number okay so let's enter the correct one now so I'm going to enter and let's send sending awesome you can see that it's already sent the verification code you heard that I got a message too and that's how quick it is well, I just want to show it to you I don't know if you can see it but let me try okay I hope you can see it not sure okay so I've got the code but let's try to enter an incorrect code first okay so if I click on it you can see it's supposed to enter let's enter incorrectly verifying it's invalid did you see how fast it is well it's for two reasons first is react super awesome super fast second is that the APIs that we're using next more you know these uh, Twilio's these kind of uh, SMS gateways are super fast okay especially for verification code uh, so this time we're going to enter the correct one I don't know if you see that if you did just help me out what was the number yep you're right eight four five six verify awesome great guys you're locked in awesome okay how do we know it's locked in let's just try to go onto that form once again can you see the form doesn't exist anymore you have a logout option available he is locked in awesome so did you see guys how simple it was to use this plugin and anyone can use it you didn't really need to have a lot of knowledge technical knowledge to use it 
and it offers you so many features uh, already okay so if you did like the video guys if you did like the plugin go ahead and try it out um, give us a positive review on wordpress org if you, you enjoyed it and uh, it's going to be absolutely free on wordpress org that you can download from and um, if you did like my video give a thumbs up leave a comment as well as do subscribe to my channel because i also teach programming uh, coding etc onto this channel okay take care thank you very much